store. Here's the issue that you're running across, and this is the reason why it's kind of bothering me a little bit. You're actually taking uh, taking pictures of personal vehicles over there, though, the two. What? What crime did I commit? I'll tell you what. Can you give me what, your name? What crime did I commit? Sir, can you give me your name? Look. Okay, get your supervisor out here. I'm touching you again. Don't touch it. I ain't touching you again. All right, so move back. How about that? No. Move back. Six feet, bro. Six feet. Keep your distance. Yo, you're too close to me, bro. Stop looking at me. Move back. Stop looking where? Sir, back away from the vehicle, please. What's that? Can you back away from the vehicle, please? Why well, do I have to back away from the vehicle? I, just, I want you to jump in there and take the car. Okay. That's right, bro. As you may know, freedom of speech and freedom of the press are fundamental rights protected by the First Amendment. But what happens when these rights are challenged? This is where the role of citizen auditors becomes crucial. Through audits at police stations, city halls, libraries, and other public places, we can witness how these rights are enforced in practice. Will law enforcement and public officials respect these legitimate rights, or will they disregard them due to ignorance or intentional violation? To uncover the truth about how our freedoms are protected, let's dive into the dramatic and tense situations below. Let's start with the first situation, a misunderstanding about public property ownership where the police decided to overlook citizens' rights in this scenario. State, close, this sir. is actually state, federal, private property. This okay. isn't private property if it's mm -hmm. government funded. You're not trying to, you see, that's where everything gets twisted. We all know citizens have the right to record in public spaces, clearly outlined in the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. However, when an auditor exercised this right to film in public, specifically in the parking lot and surrounding areas of the Habersham County Sheriff's Office, he received an unreasonable request from Officer Daniel to stop recording. Restricted area signs. It's transport parking only. Hampshire County Law Enforcement and Detention Center. Third for Chief. Investigators. There's no restricted area sign. Must be their smoking area. I'm not trying to go too far back here. Restricted area signs. Pretty nice. It's their regular car. I'm recording the facility. I don't answer questions. What? I don't answer questions. You can't be on my admin side taking pictures. No, that's the First Amendment, right? Not over here. There's no restricted area signs. The area sign. 41. Okay. I'd probably go ahead and call and get a deputy up here. Work with me, Daniel. You can't be over here on this side taking pictures by the admin side. You well, they the should public. have a restricted the area sign. Area. Well, they should have a restricted area sign. Sorry. <laughs> I'd advise them. Typically, areas requiring privacy should have signs restricting public access. But in this case, there were no such signs. The officer's demand to stop filming and even request an ID was not only unreasonable, but also a violation of First and Fourth Amendment rights. How's it going? Not much, just recording the facility. Facility. Uh, all right, uh, did you get permission from the sheriff and all that? I don't need permission. It's First uh, Amendment. Actually, being private property, you kind of do need permission. This is not exactly, dude. No, yes, there's sir. Too many, there's too many private things going on up here. Well, you hiding something? No, we've got. But well, you're not allowed to see. Not without. That's where time. the restricted areas are. Mm -hmm. You're inside the guard lines, though, dude. Uh, at public parking for the people. You see that? And that's, they. That's would, called a guard line right there, dude. Yeah, and that says that all cars made out of vehicle. Why don't I have a car alarm going off? I really don't know. It started going off. I haven't recorded, so. Okay, you guys. I got a uh, Fourth Amendment, man. 
Fourth Amendment? Yes, sir. Yeah, you do. Uh, I understand that, but there's also a state law stating you have to provide for my Actually? Yep, absolutely. I'll get him up here. Stand by. And what's your name, badge number? Deputy Case, uh, Deputy Case, badge number 130. All right. Yeah, and she was saying something about you can't record over here, but they should have a restricted area sign. Is this consensual, by the way? This what, is, what exactly are you doing up here, anyway? I'm just up here gathering uh, information for a story. News article or are you well, with the media of, or anything? Freedom of press, sir. Freedom of press? Usually you have to have some kind of badge or something. First Amendment, sir. Huh? No, I'm, I'm not telling you you can't talk about your First Amendment. I'm just asking if you're affiliated with anybody. No, sir. I'm freedom of press. Gathering content for a story. <clears throat> Here's the issue that you're running across, and this is the reason why it's kind of bothering me a little bit. You're actually taking, uh, taking pictures of personal vehicles over there, though, the two. Hmm. Anything you can see mm -hmm. from public, you can record. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, because as far as Georgia consent law, it actually have to have both. There's no consent. Uh, okay. How long? How long you been studying law then? Uh, a good while, sir. A good while. So where'd you go to school at then? On this questions. Okay. Well, I've got my lieutenant coming up here. He's gonna he's gonna pretty much tell you the exact same thing I'm, I told you already. Possibly get updated on the Constitution. Nah, uh, we're very well up to date on the Constitution. That's good. You also need to get updated up, up, up on OSA as well, too. Mm. Well, I know nothing trumps the Constitution. So. Mm. State law, you still have to abide by state law, state law, state I'm law. I'm abiding by the law just now. I mean, I'm walking around recording a public... Well, we'll let my lieutenant, he's on his way, he's from the south end. This is consensual, right? Huh? Consensual, right? Do I see any way? Shape, form, or fashion? No, I'm just making sure. I'm getting it for the record. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just sitting there talking to you. And I actually asked the case and who you are. because I don't have to. Uh, yeah, actually, there's a state uh, state law stating that you have to actually provide some form absolutely of identification. Absolutely not, sir. Uh, Mr. Sergeant Miller can tell you that firsthand. Sergeant Miller? Who's Sergeant Miller? Uh, I guess he works for y'all. Well, he lied to me. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a Sergeant Miller. Never have. Well, I got the video... Uh, I did get pulled over for him a while back, and it was the same thing. I was out in public recording, whatever. He he was trying to use the intimidation tactics, saying, oh, well, you got to give me your ID, let like, me all this. Very explanatory, okay? All I'm trying to get you. When you're out in public, that's a public place. This is a government-funded area. Okay? Exactly, which means but I have to write But here's where it separates that. You've got a guard line right there. Well, it's the not federal private property. This okay. isn't private property if it's mm. government funded. You're not tracking. You see, that's where everything gets twisted. Finally, after discussing with a sergeant, the police seemingly realized their mistake and decided to respect the citizens' rights. While they tried to de-escalate the situation, I still believe the officer should have respected the citizens' rights from the beginning instead of creating unnecessary tension. All right, man. I'm just gonna stand out here and just kind of watch. All right, see. So what's the deal, sir? Lieutenant's gonna call the sheriff. And let him know. All right. And then we'll go from there. So just to be clear, there's no restricted area signs over here. So I'm more than free to go over there, correct? Well, I'm just... All right, I'll walk with you, but I ain't gonna stop you. Okay. Yeah, as soon as it I need to get says... get exercise anyway. I hear that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, as soon as I see a restricted area sign, I'll, I'll stop. And see, I, and honestly, dude, that's, the, that's what I'm worried about. I just don't want you stepping over something and, like, trying to open doors. Because I don't uh -oh. know you from Adam's house, Cat, man. I've never dealt with you before. I just like to know who I'm dealing with. I understand that. But understand, and understand this, there is a law that states. No, sir, there's not. Yes, there is. That's my Fourth Amendment, sir, mm -hmm. and I can almost guarantee you don't want to have to deal with the lawsuit. <laughs> okay. You can sit there and argue all day long, but I'm just telling you. Well, if that were true, you would have done got my ID. I don't see any restricted area signs at all. You guys should definitely put one or two up, especially if you're worried about it. Got cruisers back here. Still no. I think that's possibly sign is right there. It says guard line, but it doesn't say restricted area. 
Ты Going, any kind of, any fences, we're good. Have a good day, man. All right, you, man. You got water or anything? You want water? Oh, I got two waters in my bag. You want another one to go eat? Uh, nah. In conclusion, this situation highlights the importance of understanding the law and citizens' rights while reminding law enforcement to fulfill their duties responsibly and appropriately. Moving to the next situation, the citizen is being followed by police. What exactly happened here? Let's find out. Going to cooperate with me. Hey, Provide I ain't coming up time, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, are you going to continue? Did you take film? a note to uphold? Everyone knows that citizens have the right to free speech in public, but in practice, this right is not always respected. The following example shows a citizen auditor recording near a road by the San Francisco airport where Officer Madrid approached, claiming the act was suspicious, and asked him to stop filming. Oh, sorry. How are you today? Sir, can you talk to me? Being detained? Uh, I'm just talking to you just because we were filming the airport and the officer was concerned. A secure area of the airport. Am I being detained? Sure. Do you have ID on you, sir? Madrid, star number 4143. Can okay. I see your ID? Sir, can you put that down? You're being no. detained. You're, no, sir, I'm Did not. Did I commit a crime? Sir, what you're doing is very suspicious. But is so, it a crime? I'm investigating it. Do you have ID on you? If I didn't commit a crime, then there's... Sir, you're being detained. crime did I commit? You're filming the airport, sir. <laughs> sir, do you have you, Did any... you just see the smile on your face? Have how many people you? How many people in the airport have cameras and, and take video and picture of the... Okay, but you're filming the air. It's very curious. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, there's people in the airport with cameras and they take pictures and video. Because I'm out on the public sidewalk, on the public trail. Sir, video or, or taking pictures. The information I received from Made you. it a crime. Sir, I'm asking you for ID because you're being detained. Well, I'm asking you if I committed okay, a crime. Okay, well, I'm trying to determine that. Detain you me? You have to be accusing me of committing a crime. Sir, I could just be suspicious of something that may be occurring. If I didn't commit a crime, Sir, there's no... Sir, type ID? Any type of ID? Look, uh, you're just free to I go. Told you you're being detained. Okay, then I'm, I'm unlawfully. Detaining. I don't answer any questions. Okay, you're not being charged with a crime. Do you happen to have ID on you? Well, then if I didn't commit, okay, if you're saying Sir, I did not commit a crime, I'm just asking then why are you? I'm very suspicious. I'm investigating. I'm trying to who, determine whether something's going on. Who does not come out here with cameras and take pictures and video? Admittedly, police have the right to be concerned about security in areas like airports, but when a citizen is merely standing on a public road near the airport, it doesn't warrant direct concern. Furthermore, the officers repeated requests for the citizen's name and ID, along with claiming the citizen was being detained for an investigation without legitimate grounds, was misconduct and a serious violation of the Fourth Amendment. Sir, I'm trying to determine whether some type of crime occurred. That's all. That's all this is. That's I know I'm how doing. this works. Or maybe on his way. So he's still standing at the checkpoint. Well, uh, I haven't committed a crime. I'm asking you for ID. Because Look, it is suspicious. What you're doing is... What is suspicious? The behavior at the gate. What the other officer explained to me is that you were filming the secure checkpoint and where the gate mechanism and everything is. Did, I go, did I go inside a zone where I wasn't supposed Sir, to? You have to understand why that's concerned. Okay, I'm asking you a question. I'm supposed to. ID. Was I on a public sidewalk? Did because he tell you I was on a public sidewalk? Sir, all he told me was you were... Look, man. It's suspicious. I'm trying to understand why I'm trying suspicious. to save you, you know. That's fine. Now, man. by you detaining me, you're all already I'm wasting sure. my time. All you're I'm impeding my ability to... ...for some ID. That's all I'm asking you for. But I want you to listen to this. You understand that you you now are... You happen to have ID on you? What crime did I commit? I'll tell you what. Can you give me what, your name? What crime did I commit? Sir, can you give me your name? Look. Okay, get your supervisor out here. Because now you're wasting my time, man. Okay. You know? Arthur what? SFPD? Three Adam. 
Yeah, the uh, 917 suspect is uh, requesting a supervisor respond out to the So it'll take him a few minutes to get out here. So in the meantime, I'm not gonna stand here in the, wind, in the meantime, man. can you provide me with your last name? Uh, come on, you're wasting my time. Sir, I'm not wasting your time. Vicious. So I'm investigating. Is that a crime? Sir, my job is to investigate suspicious behavior. Yet. Hey, everywhere I go, I, might go, be I put my GoPro on my forehead. Unfortunately, it's on my tripod right now. Sir, you're being so, detained. You're what crime did I commit, man? Yeah, 10 -4. He's just argumentative or uh, informed me why he was filming the uh, security gate. Tell him you won't tell me what crime I committed. Hey. Sir, I'm just trying to determine. And That's all I'm trying to do is determine me. whether or not a crime is only fighting me your right there. We could end this very quickly. As long as you're not wanted, but and you're did not I, type did of I other commit suspicious a crime? group, then you'll be on your way. I didn't commit no crime, man. Doing right. You, you know have how, any idea? You know how silly you look. I'm investigating. What Do you know how silly you look me. in your police department? Is am, are you are you accusing me of a I'm crime? I'm accusing you of a crime. I'm investigating whether something criminal may or may not have occurred. The sooner you can be on your way, sir. You gotta understand. It's suspicious. The behavior was suspicious. Okay. But we've already talked about that. You've already taken my star number. Yeah, no, I'm, if I didn't commit no crime, there's no reason for sir, me to give you my name. with your name? Stand that, I sir. gotta go for a walk. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to investigate See, you're, this. Now you're impeding my happened. ability to travel, you know that, right? Sir, let's stop and do this, way. let's stop and do this. Sir, and I've already explained I, I, to you I know, that you're I know. being detained. Check this out, we're gonna do this. Do you I'm have asking ID? you if you are a public servant. What do you think? No, I'm asking you a question. Am I, I want you to answer. Uniform, sir? Yes or no? Am I in a police Are you uniform? a public servant? Sir, do you have ID? You're being detained. Do you have ID? You're impeding my ability to travel. Can you tell me your name? Man, you're, you're going to look bad on, on online, dude. That's fine. But I'm asking you, your behavior what, was What suspicious. crime was committed? Listen, I'm what not crime was the area that you were filming was suspicious. Okay, where was According I standing? According to the other officer. Where, where, did he tell you where I was? Tell me what you were filming and why it concerned him. Usually I don't go live because I don't like the picture quality. Okay. But uh, uh, I'm going to go for a walk, man. Okay. Come on, you, you got to stop impeding my ability Sir, to travel, dude. I'm asking you for ID. You won't let me travel. Why, why are you... Well, sir, I'm just asking you for ID. I'm just trying to determine what's going on here. I did not. You got to understand the area that you're filming at the airport. Now you're harassing me. You know what bullies are in school? Okay. okay. Do you know what they do in school? Yeah, do you have any other information, anything specific concerning about this guy, or is he uh, okay to be on his way? Going to cooperate with me? Hey, I didn't commit no crime, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Then uh, uh, secure the Constitution. Of the airport, sir. Did you take a note? I don't understand. Your, no, did your you take a note? Yes suspicious. or no? I can't really say that, that Are you, you did. Are you going to wait around for, for the supervisor any... that you requested? Well, it's getting cold, man. I can't. You told me. Minutes. Well, it's past a couple minutes, man. Come on, delay. man. Come on. Tell, uh, tell him that I left, that I was getting cold. A good citizen left and he was getting cold. Right? I thought the officer would leave the citizen alone after failing to provide a reasonable cause for detention. But no, Officer Madrid went further by intentionally following and harassing the citizen until he was forced to leave. Is it possible that simply holding a camera and recording makes you unwelcome on airport roads? <laughs> are you, are you, are you really going to stick to me, man? You, I'm just asking. I'm What's just wrong with you? I'm just having a conversation with you. It's going to bother me. I'm just curious. That's all. No, how far are you going to bother curious. me, man? I'm not going to get on my bike. Well, you're going to follow me. I'm just look, me. we've already walked a few yards from your uh, uh, I vehicle. And I'm just I can't zoom in in my hand. All right, what was the purpose of filming the fence line right there? That's all. And I recorded the fence line. Because that's what he told me. That you were filming the fence line in that area, that little secure area. Was I on the public sidewalk? Sir, I don't know. I wasn't here at the time. I just... 
I was just listening to what he told me. Filming an area that really there's not much to look at. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, what did you say your last dread? It was a pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. All right. All right. Well, I'm just curious. Would you be willing to tell me why you filmed it? If you took an oath, man, come on. I don't know how, how you're gonna become an officer. I don't know, man. It's you're a smart person. If you went to school, then then it is. It is. You know. So I'm just concerned for the safety of the public. That's all. Okay. I don't know if a crime has been committed yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't believe this. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. All right, have a good one. This situation underscores once again the importance of law enforcement understanding and respecting the law. In other words, police should uphold and protect citizens' rights, rather than showing ignorance and abusing their power as seen here. Let's move to Times Square to see if freedom of speech is respected in this situation. At the start of this situation, while a citizen exercised his rights, he encountered a police officer who refused to provide his name and badge number and seemed uncomfortable being recorded by the auditor. Officers should remember that they are obligated to provide identifying information while on duty. This ensures transparency and community oversight of law enforcement, preventing unnecessary tensions like in this case. Uh, well, I, I have the Get a close up? Nice. Hope you get my fifth side. Fifth side. You got a bad side? I don't think so. I hope not. Oh, yeah. You got a photo shoot? I don't know. It just happened. I just came out and he had the camera on. It happened. Don't block the street, the side with me. What'd you say? Going. Don't block the side with me. Let me walk. Don't block the walk. If you're huh? In that way, they're walking this way, give them room. Are you giving me orders? Orders? Yeah. Put the camera on my face. That's all you gotta do. But you're fine. I'm not giving you any orders. Do what you gotta do. Stay right there in the water. What's your name and badge number, sir? You find somebody else to go play with me. Excuse me? Donald. Donald what? What's your name and badge number, sir? Yo, what prison are you from, bro? I need to go make a complaint against you. What's your prison? Oh, now he's gonna work? Are you a traffic guy now? What's your name, bro? And badge number, so I can go make a complaint against you. Give me your name, so I'm gonna have to get your sergeant. Don't be disrespectful. You're Sir, disrespectful. what's your name and badge number for the people? You're disrespectful. You name and badge me. number? You cursed at me, didn't you? We'll put that on social Sir, I need your name Don't and badge number. Way. Just step out of my way when I'm walking. Keep your camera rolling. You're not gonna give me your name and badge number? 
Oh, step out of the way. I need your sergeant. It's not your social media thing. Step out of the what way. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Do you can can I have your sergeant, sir? I need your sergeant. Step, don't hit that camera. Up. I need your sergeant. Don't put the camera in my face. I need your sergeant. You're not going to call your sergeant for me? No. You're not going to give me your badge number? No. What priest are you from? This nigga dirty as hell, man. Yo, I need your sergeant, bro. Give me your name and badge number, bro. My, page and my, my name and badge number. So I can go make a complaint against you. Yeah. It's none of your business. I'm gonna talk to your sergeant, to your supervisor, or to your chief, bro. Oh, I'm going to your priest. I know, what priest is this, bro? Yo, identify yourself, bro. Name, rank, and shield for the people. You're not gonna identify yourself? Oh, now nah, he working. He was drinking juice just now, my bitch. You heard? All right. Yo, name, rank, and shield, bro. What's your name and badge number, bro? Name and badge number. What's he doing, bro? What's he doing, bro? What is this guy doing? They don't need you, bro. They don't need you, bro. You good, you good, bro. You're not gonna identify yourself? And you're not gonna call your sergeant, right? Yeah, you know, they're doing it for social media, so. Name and badge number for social you, you media, inside? bro. Sorry. Name and badge number for social oh, media, no, bro. Way, you can touch me, bro. Yeah, yeah, no. This is what you're doing, bro? Do it for social media, man. You're doing a great job. Yeah. Yo, you sergeant, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk to me like that, you get So me. give me your... No. Oh, wow. Just watch. Name, rank, and shield. Name, rank, and shield. And precinct. After being disrespected by the officer, the auditor continued his walk. Once again, he noticed his basic rights were being disregarded. Specifically, he encountered an employee of a building who acted strangely while trying to stop the citizen from filming. The employee even called the police out of concern that someone was filming outside their building. What is wrong with this guy? 
this is crazy. Believe the unbelievable, my freedom is collateral. I think I'm gonna have to go. Total insanity, my baby. You heard? That about, my the police eventually arrived, but they rudely demanded the auditor stop filming, claiming it was a private building. While it's true the building is private, the police seem to have forgotten the First Amendment and the Plain View Doctrine, which allows citizens to record what they see from public areas, as long as their actions don't cause an obstruction. So the citizen standing on the sidewalk and recording what he saw inside the building was entirely legal. The police were wrong in attempting to violate this right. Oh, look who can call my place. You can't film in there, okay? Excuse me? What? Why not? Because it's a private building. But I'm not inside. Yeah, you're not allowed to film the inside of it. I understand that. You're not allowed to film inside. Are you a police officer? Does it look like I am? I don't know. You could be security guard. Yo, 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 yo. Try not to touch my camera, bro. What are I'm you not doing? Your don't touch it. I ain't touching you. Alright, so move back. How about that? No, Move back, six feet, bro. Six feet. Keep your distance. Bro, Move back. Stop looking where. Stop filming in there. Stop filming where. Who the f is you to tell me what to do, bro? Yo, move back. What's wrong with you? After realizing things weren't going their way, the employee called the police again. However, it was disappointing for the employee that this time the police respected the citizens' rights, acknowledging that since the auditor was on a public sidewalk, he had the right to film everything around him. It's safe to say that the police stood up for the citizens' rights in this case. Look at the reactions of those around to see how well the officers performed their role. I think he's doing like a social experiment. I think he's doing like a social experiment. I tried to the camera in my face, and all close to me, and I'm asking what he's what's going on, and he still has an experiment. Where was he inside or outside? No, he's staying right here. Okay. Well, I mean, what's not coming, he's not actually coming inside. Talk to me, you see pointing the camera to me? Nope. Nope. Pointing the camera to me? Nope. Use a dirty car, dirty car. I play the fifth. Okay. Why are you angry? Yeah, yeah. Go back inside, bro. Go back inside. Thank you. Thank you. Go back. So he's not to stand here as long as he wants. Yeah, he's allowed to record. Yeah. So he's not to stand here as long as he wants. Yeah, he's allowed to stand here as long as he wants. Yeah, he's allowed to record. Yeah. Yeah, he's allowed to record. Yeah. I'm putting a tattoo on my shirt. On my shirt. On my shirt. Say what? Education is very important, okay? Welcome to America. Long live the Constitution. You heard? Go back to work. Go back to work. Thank you, bro. Thank you. That's it. You don't have to report on the public side. Look, that's it. You don't have to report on the public side. Look, that's it. 15080. Name? El Salto. Name and badge number? 17952 Bell. Thank you. Name and badge number? Wonderful. God bless you guys. Keep it clean. You heard? Long live the Constitution. Be safe, bro. Keep it like that. We love it. You a little dirty. You heard? Dirty. Wait. You heard? Yo, shout out to my guy. <laughs> Walk it. Walk it. Walk this situation shows the importance of protecting the rights to free speech and recording. When citizens stand up for their rights, they not only protect themselves, but also promote transparency and accountability in law enforcement. Police are wasting our tax dollars by focusing too much on a situation where a citizen is simply exercising their right to record in public. What's the story here? Let's take a look. What's going on? You guys got more police to come talk to us or what? No? So you guys just gonna hang out and babysit us? Or? No, we're just hanging out, sir. Okay. 
Is that worth the tax? Recently at the El Paso County Jail, an auditor and his friend arrived to see if their First Amendment rights would be respected. As soon as they arrived, they were confronted by a police officer who not only acted unprofessionally by smoking, but also rudely demanded an explanation for the recording. Something I can do for you. How are you doing today? Not too bad. What are you checking out? Oh, just the facility. What are you up to tonight? Okay, so Ooh, just rude. Job, <laughs> okay. Cigarettes while you're on the job, man. 1330. Like, it just doesn't need to be rude like that. It's the thing. <laughs> Let's show the evidence here. Yeah, he dropped his cigarette butt right here. He littered. Right there, guys. Look at that. Didn't even pick to the actual pod. That's where they start keeping it clean. clean. So here is the jail. This is where they lock people in cages for victimless crimes. Honesty, loyalty, unity. <laughs> they have zero. Yep, guys lights. Get this unit number real quick. 2920. How you doing, gentlemen? Good, how are you doing? Good. What's going on? How can I help you? Oh, we don't need help. Okay. <laughs> what brings you out here? Okay. Is there anything we can answer? Any questions you have about the facility? Oh, uh, yeah, can I get your name and badge number? It's Deputy Roberts, 16048. Okay. And you? Deputy Mendoza, 21108. All right. No, we're good, man. Any questions I do as your body count? They are. They are. That's all the only question I have. Sure. Recording. Recording. Founded. Wi Fi connected. Is there anything really we can help you guys out with? You hey, man, you're out? asking us to appreciate you yeah. doing your due diligence, so you guys can get back to work, though. Okay. Well, this is my part of my work. Well, what? Brand. Okay, so then, well, like I said, we don't need you. I was trying to be nice at the beginning, but you keep asking us over and over the same question. I so, asked twice, but okay. okay. I think you asked me like three times. How can I help you? Is there anything we can answer? Any questions you have? You with? So, we're good. Okay. All right. Well, have a good night, gentlemen. You too. I don't have business cards, sir. Uh, to Deputy Mendonca, 21108. Thank you. So what's going on? You guys got more police to come talk to us or what? No? So you guys just gonna hang out and babysit us? Or no. spares pay you to do is hang out? So they're just hanging out guys. I don't know what they're doing. There's but no back we don't need you guys to hang out, man. What's that? Can you back away from the vehicle? Please? Why do I have to back away from the vehicle? I just don't want you to jump in there and take the car. Okay. That's right, Robert. You can videotape me all you want. No, I'm fine. Okay, cool. He says step away from the vehicle. So, I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, is that what he said? said? Yeah. After a tense exchange due to the officer's ignorance of the law, a sergeant appeared to handle the situation. While he made efforts to protect the citizen's rights, the overwhelming police presence in a situation where the citizen was simply exercising their First Amendment right to film wasted government resources. How's it going, sir? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you tonight? Oh, good. 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 What you guys up to? Okay. Do you have any kind of identification on you? Can I ask you your name? You can ask. Okay, what's your name, sir? You have a badge number? Uh, my, my EID is 13136. Okay, thank you. Can I know your name? Uh, you can call me. F As you both well know, there's nothing illegal about what you're doing. It's just at this time of night, it raises some questions. Just to make sure that we got a report that y'all were over at the coroner's office. Again, not illegal, which was okay. That nothing, nothing was going on, so. If that's all, if that's all this is, then we have no issue. Is there anything we can help you with? Uh, besides me having a question, 
Sure. I wasn't here when you know uh, you were talking. Uh, 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 okay. You died. You ID. You ID. Did you ID? Did I ID what? Like your name and. Uh, no, you haven't asked for my name. Lieutenant Aaron Palm. Badge number. My EID is zero five zero two four. All right. Thank you, sir. One three one three six. All right. Thank you. Absolutely. Is there anything else we can help y'all with? Is it illegal to videotape uh, police cruisers? None of what you're doing right now. Okay, right. Okay. I never said it was illegal. No, I know, but you said step away, and I was like, is that a lot Right, because you're you approaching yes. the driver's side door, sir. I don't know. So. Again, I don't know what your intentions. Are. Assume the worst. Man, you know what our intentions safe. are. You guys know exactly what we're doing here. We're not going to steal your police cruiser. Right, 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 right. Yep. Y'all have a yeah. wonderful evening. You, I mean, you didn't really need to send this many over here to talk to us. You could have just probably got brought one or two guys, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because. They said that they know we're not doing anything illegal. And then right. he said, oh, I didn't know, you know, if you're gonna, you're going on the driver's side of the door. They know exactly what we're doing. They know what we're, that we're auditors and stuff. And we're not gonna go and steal their car. They're just trying to, you know, that guy was just trying to have authority over us. That's the lesson from this situation is that police should respect citizens' rights to public recording under the First Amendment and enhance their legal education. Using a large number of officers in unnecessary situations not only wastes resources, but also creates confusion within the community. That brings us to the end of today's video. I hope this video has helped you understand the importance of free speech and the ways we can protect it in our daily lives. Continue supporting and standing up for your rights and those of others to help build a fair and democratic society. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.